guys, check this out. We have a Gaboon Viper right here, right out here, chilling, blending in with these leaves. This guy's on the move a little bit. He's kind of checking out, uh, checking out the area, looking to see where he's gonna go next. But uh, look at how he blends into these leaves. Look at this pattern. He's got all these different, different leaf-like patterns. And you can see out here in the forest why these guys look the way they do. Look at that head. Look at the top of the head and look how that looks like. Looks like how that looks like this lighter type of leaf like that. Even, even, even the nostril on this guy, you can see how that might look like the edge of a leaf. Everything about this guy, everything about this guy is built for blending in in nature. And this is also why these guys are responsible for a lot of bites because people will be walking around and hey, do you see this? Do you actually see this guy? No, he blends totally in. These guys are one of the fastest striking snakes on the planet. They can move lightning fast. It's super hard to dodge anything from this guy and they can even strike backwards. So I gotta be really careful even being back here. He could potentially spin back, strike behind him and I could be in a world of trouble. Woo. You can see he's exploring around. He's flicking that tongue. And that's what he uses to explore his environment. He can get a lot of information just from flicking around that tongue. He can know uh, what's going on around him. He is on the move. Look at this. These guys crawl like caterpillars. Look at this. Look at that belly. He's just moving along. Oh, wow. How cool is this? Crawling alongside a Gaboon Viper in Africa. It doesn't get, it does not get any cooler than this, guys. Crawling along a Gaboon Viper in Africa. One of the fastest striking snakes on the planet. Wow. So these guys have both cardiotoxins and cytotoxins. The cardiotoxin will actually shut down your heart, which would not be good. You definitely do not want to get bit by this guy. But look at that. Look at that head right there. And look at those leaves. And just look how that guy just blends totally into his environment. This guy is adaptive and suited to hang out, vanish, and ambush his prey right here. What in the world? This is a giant African millipede. So weird having this guy crawl on me. It feels it's it, it feels like um a little bit like um hairbrush bristles, like hairbrush brush bristles, or maybe a toothbrush. Mm. A little bit like a like a really um. Firm toothbrush, though. What is he doing? He keeps his head down. You see that? He popped his head up that one time, and he's got these little antenna on his head. He can grip on with that. He actually can go upside down, no problem. Like these these little legs, man. They can just grip. He has no issues whatsoever going around with that. Right, look at that guy, it's crazy. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this little guy. We're gonna put him back on his branch so he can go ahead and hang out and go about his business. Come on, little boy. Come on, guy. Come on, little dude. Let's go. Come on, little. I don't know if he's a boy or not, so I don't know, I don't wanna misgender him, but here we go. Come on, dude. There you go. Puff at her. He's hanging out right beneath that rock. Wow. Check that snake out. Now these guys are the fastest striking snake on the planet. If you're in their strike range, there's no avoiding that strike. 
you cannot move faster than these guys. And you can see, he just kind of blends in there. Now he's got different patterns here where he's got different shapes of leaves and lights and darks. But if you're out here, you might walk right by him. Now this seems like a good place where this guy can sit and he can wait right here. Rodents come right down here, exploring around. Bam, strike him. He's gonna get his meal. And they are the fastest, the fastest striking snake on the planet. So any rodent that gets in his strike range is in a world of trouble. Plus, they got a potent venom. Let's see if we can go ahead and take him and pull him out a little bit here for you guys, just so you can get a better look at this guy. You gotta be very careful on him. Uh oh, know something's up now. Hiding right underneath there, right underneath there. Just wants to get away. Now, this one right here is actually a female. You can tell that because it's got a fatter tail on it here. The males are more slender. Look at that. But you can see this guy's not striking. Mostly wants to get away. Come on, girl, we just want to come out and see you for just a second here. We just want to see you for just a second, show how beautiful your colors are. I'm gonna pull you out here and then we'll put you right back in where you were. Wow. And these guys have really big fangs. Um, they're the fastest striking snake on the planet. You do not want to mess around with this snake. They're responsible for the most snake bites in Africa. So more people get bit by these guys than any other snake. Now, oftentimes, these guys will live in close proximity to humans. The reason being, we create a lot of garbage and garbage attracts rats. And their favorite prey right here are rodents. Another interesting thing about these guys is they actually have the record for the most babies. So these guys can have up to 150 baby snakes, which is crazy. They did a study on them and they followed them around for like three months. And what they found out is these guys like to select a spot. And once they got their spot, their spot where they know that they can find prey and they can ambush, they'll tend to just stay in that spot and they'll sit in that spot. And if you watch them over month to month, sometimes they'll only move in one direction, a few feet in the other direction, a few more feet, especially with the females here because they don't really have a reason to be moving all over the place. Now the males, when they're searching for mates, they may be on the move. There you go, girl. There you go. Back under your rock. <laughs> 